All right, well, I'm getting started. I thought we were waiting for uh, someone to show up, but you know, nobody wants to uh, to join in. Oh, now he gets the message, okay. I see how it is. Anyway, welcome back to Pokemon. Last time we had a disastrous gym leader fight uh, that wiped out two thirds of the team. So, of the originals, we have Bartrick and Chun-Li, and then we filled in the rest of the squad with Boythita, the boy Gothita. We have Forklift, the Ducklick, Lil Brother, the Deerling, and Zanzibar, the unrenameable Zora. Um, I got Lil Brother to 30 off screen, which was miserable because... It turns out his lowered speed is a real problem, um, and he gets gets hit a lot. And his defenses aren't exactly the, the best, and jump kick is terrifying to use when um, it just chonks your HP out. So um, I think the next most likely like long-term member is going to be Forklift, so I think I'm going to lead with, with her for the for the beginning of the episode. Uh, my goal right now is to finish this route. So get through route six. So we'll fight all the trainers. We're gonna try to get to Charge Stone Cave and get um, another Pokemon. Hopefully a Pharaoh Seed because I love them and I think they're the best. But um, in all likelihood, it'll be a Joltik based on the, the tables that I've looked at. So you would think that, you know, Forklift would have a, a decent shot here at a... Oh. See, and, and that's what I was talking about with Endure doing, like, sticky sticky HP. Because I'd be willing to bet that the next time we fight Carablast, if it doesn't use Endure, um, it, won't, it won't do that much damage. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit quieter than normal and I have my door closed because puppy is sleeping and puppy does not like uh, <laughs> does not like being on her own um, so and if 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 she wakes up and realizes that I'm not still sitting on the floor next to her I may have to leave and go console her so <laughs> uh, hopefully that doesn't happen but uh, you know you you'll hear it too because it's very loud level 27 what are we gonna do we're gonna kick it in the face oh I think I still have battle animations turned off I gotta I put those back on yeah but I ain't gonna do it but I ain't gonna do it I could have sworn it said that she only had one Pokemon but you know And see, the other thing is, like, these Deerling are really hard to train against each other because of the stupid jump kick and double kick that they know. And, like, this team that we have here has a serious weakness to fighting. Like, normal, 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 dark, all weak to fighting. We also have a problem with uh, grass, or not grass, bug, hits, Boythida and Lil Brother and Zora. So, like, there's certain... Oops, there's certain types that we are just, like, crazy weak to. And it's been hard to, uh, to train. Well, I guess I haven't done any trainer fights, so it's, it's hard to train in a trainer fight like that because, you know, you just, you only get the first one. You can't switch back into whoever you were training because they're little weaklings. And, like, you would think that we'd be able to beat up this Deerling, but it'll use, like, takedown and murder Forklift. Like, it, Forklift has had some close calls even getting to 25, which is unacceptable, really. Um, I'll, we'll see if Lil Brother doesn't get a face full of double kick here. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the takedowns are also quite scary. Uh, 
combined with like the possibility of jump kick missing, it's just the worst. Is is harrowing to get him to thirty. Um, I think he evolves at thirty five, thirty two or thirty five. So we're not quite out of the woods yet on that one. Um, I'm almost out of potions. I guess we don't need that. All right, let's let's fight Parasol Lady and see if we can get a level on Forklift here out of it. Hi. God, but it is it has been a day. Cast form. Level twenty eight. So there's there's a good chance that that thing knows an electric attack. Let's let let's let Barger candle that. You know, we were we were up early, so we had to drive to go get puppy. No oh, water gun. Um. Now well, look at you. Look what you found. And then drive back to my parents' house. Um. That's. It looks like a zebra. Or is that a bird? I don't know. It's either a horse or a bird. Um, so we're at my parents' house, and the plumbers come to fix their burst pipes. So, you know, anytime one of those guys comes in the house, Nyx goes nuts, which, you know, makes, makes everybody upset because it's an ear-splitting cry uh, and then it's like my mom's making dinner plumbers are go going nuts Nick's is go or the plumbers are doing their thing Nick's is going nuts uh, and then we're supposed to do a we did a trivia thing um, at six uh, so my mom and me and Savannah were all dialed into the Zoom trivia thing. And so we're trying to listen to that. We're trying to eat. We're trying to control Nyx. We're trying to, like, control uh, Riven so that she doesn't, like, pee all over the place. Because she's a little puppy. And that dog is full of pee. It was incredible how much pee was in that dog. <laughs> so it's just... Uh, it was... It was, like, too, too many things happening. No, that's rude. You do not call her that. She's not a mutt. <laughs> Sheep doodles are very expensive. No, it's it's too too derogatory. No, I think I think we're Oh jeez. Is this definitely not Curtis? I'm so sure that that's Kolras, who, whose thing we have. I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, I looked up how the hidden grottos work. Um, so they they have a chance. I think it's like a five percent chance to reset every two hundred and fifty six steps if you've either fought the Pokemon that was there before or you collected the item that was there. So that one in Lost Lorne Forest might have something in it again, but it could just be another item. So I'm not going to really try too hard to hit those. Okay. Since you said, <laughs> as, as I finish explaining why I'm not going to do this, I do this for you the people. Um I don't I can't I don't I can't buy those yet. Uh I did have a girl in a Pokemon Center give me luxury balls, so I'd love to add a member to the team with one of those and <clears throat> I need to get a drink cuz I can't feel the scratchiness. Um So yeah. I I'm still kind of torn on how 
we treat hidden grottos in, in terms of whether or not you can catch the Pokemon there. Yeah, spinners spinners do that. Um, but I figure like the chances of it being populated are are relatively low. Um, so it doesn't hurt that much to to check and like I think for the most part I'm just gonna like pop in and see like the first time if something's there we'll we'll do it and then if not I'm just gonna ignore it which which seems you know fair to me I'm I can't I can't take a hit and then just be in pursuit town um, yeah we'll just let Bartrick handle this or fury swipes to death here. Yeah, okay. Uh, the nice thing about fighting all these dang Lipards is the speed EVs. So I'm never, never going to complain about getting getting speed EVs. Unless it's a Pharaoh Seed. <laughs> uh I'm not going to ever get that item because I don't feel like teaching cut to anybody. Did I not? Oh, right. Breeders always fight you. I could have sworn we fought this guy. Galen. With your tranquil. Reminding me of all that I've lost. At least that's a evolved form to get some XP off of. I think Forklift evolves in the low 30s as well, so we've, we've got a ways to go with her. Um, nice thing about Forklift though is that she's a mixed attacker. She's got equal uh, special attack and physical attack, so we don't have to be too discerning with attack moves that she gets. Like If she gets a good one, we use it, and if not, then we pass on it. Punch it in the craw. That was rude. Make me flinch. But I, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised at how tanky Chun Li is. Like she's got some very high defensive stats for, at least like in comparison to the rest of the team. See. Let's let's see if Forklift can handle a level 21 Cottony because I don't feel great. That was pretty good though. See, and I like Aqua Ring. I just I have doubts that Forklift is going to ever end up being bulky enough to really abuse it or or get any good use out of it because you can't take a turn off and get whomped down to 40% HP. And Aqua Ring's not going to do anything for you there. Ow. Really? Couldn't just, couldn't just brought that home, huh? I wonder... The chorus calling us on the x transceiver. I wonder if that's like based on steps or, or what that is. What do we have? Nothing. So... This one, it has reset because we've picked, I think there was like a Pokeball there before. But uh, there's nothing there, so we need to take more steps to try and reset that, which, like I said, I'll probably just ignore. Are you serious? I hate this man. I hate him. <laughs> uh. Oh, yep, you did it. You're the best. Please kill this thing in one hit. Thank you. Yeah, and then I taught uh, a little brother return because it's not a recoil move like freaking uh takedown um 
and it's stab still, but he's he's still still learning learning the team, so it doesn't do much damage right now. Why? I just want to leave. All right, we should be able to kill that in one go because it's quad weak. No. Stop it. Stop it. Nice. See, like, those are just really bad stats. Air Slash is better than Aerial Ace. Is it... Uh, Feather Dance is a nice, like, 100% accurate... Um, double status move, like two stage status, so that could actually be useful. Like f setting Feather Dance up with Aqua Ring could could be a thing later down the road if if uh, Forklift keeps her spot on the team. Oh, I guess we can check out what's in the. Um, What's, what's in the stadiums, too, while we're over here in Nimbasa. I'm just going to send Chun-Li out. Please don't. Okay. We just live in fear of pursuit for the rest of my life. Punch it in the crop. I mean... That would be in keeping with the rest of this dang run. But they also give us potions, so... Mm. Free stuff, I guess. I wonder... I also want to check um, Join Avenue. I set it up during one of the streams, too. I forget if we can get people recruited without passerbys. I don't remember... Oop. No, come on. Oh my goodness. No, come back. Jeez. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Go away. So one of the things that bugs me about Join Avenue is that all of the NPCs that you encounter here, all of their names start with A or J. What do you have for us? Base HP, grow slightly friendly, grow friendly. So we're going to give these to um, Little Brother. Whoa! So this one's base HP, so we can just buy uh, EVs at that point. That's nice. This is a really cool feature that I thought was uh, kind of underused. But again, it's Pokemon, so they just you know throw out anything that's cool and put a worse version of it back in in the next generation. Here we go. So she probably won't come to build a a shop oh with beautiful flash that's another berry i like the berry ones because you know like you can set up a uh, a really nice regular supply of of berries since you can't grow them in this game what do you have chestos Ooh, we don't have any chestos yeah we want that uh i'll take some more pages too and then the mulch, the only thing we can do with mulch is sell it. So there's a fanatic somewhere in the world that'll buy it for more, but it's not really like, it's, money is never really a, an off, a problem in Pokemon games, thankfully. Thankfully. <clears throat> 
Oh yeah, and it ended up being like 80 here today, and it was gorgeous. All of the snow is gone. It's like nothing ever happened. Baseball again. I wonder, do they stay fought? Because we did fight the baseball guys already. And they murdered Alistair. No, they still fight. Cool. I will kill your monkeys, sir. I will kill them. Oh, we got him forklift. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna set up uh, Aqua Ring and then fall asleep here. I'm gonna stay in once and see what it does. Okay, yeah, it just immediately snaps out of confusion, huh? Can we wake up? Can we wake up? No? Can we wake up? No? Cool. Amazing. I forget what this thing's grass attack was. It was Razor Leaf. Is it Razor Leaf or is it Vine Whip? Whatever. Switching. Since you just can't count on anybody to take a hit nowadays. Seed Bomb. That would have been horrible. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. A Panpour. Bop. Nice. So balanced. I'm going to immediately use that. On my poor little bird that you tried to beat up. Birds are fragile, sir. Their bones are hollow. Shouldn't throw seeds at them. I wonder if the level of these guys like changes with the number of badges you have. Because I feel like they they kind of incrementally level up over the course of the game with you. Seems like I can't even switch into Little Brother here because he just get mauled by this Trish alike. Tish alike. Yeah, okay, see that's why we don't use freaking jump kick against these things either. Can you not? Okay. Just determined to get that little chip in, huh? Yeah, here. All right, so that was a, at least a lot of, a lot of levels. Yeah, I, I don't think Chun Li cares, because you're made of paper. All right, one more. I don't think I'll do the uh, the little little stadium. Just since we're already thirty minutes in on this detour of yours to go check out that. Uh, oh, that's not the right one. To check out the grotto again. Todd, with two D's. Weakers. Yeah. Why? Why? I, as soon as I hit air slash, I was like, doesn't this thing have rock throw? Get out of here. God. 
It's not even worth it for that piddly amount of it of XP. Alright. So we we netted two potions out of that. Um I'm gonna say that the log is actually the timber and everything else is just appendage. That's the theory with Komala, is that the the actual Pokemon Komala is the log, and that the, the koala bear part of it is just, like, extra. Because somebody found, like, the, the walk animation for the, the Pokemon, and it was just, like, the log toddling around, so, I don't know. It'd be it'd be interesting and worth considering if it wasn't the fact that Game Freak's probably just lazy and didn't make a, a proper animation for it because they're a terrible developer now. What do you have? Hondus. I'll take it. It's a good price. Dang. Vestigial Koala sounds like a freaking hipster vinyl record that you've picked up at your shop of choice I don't know why the music on that bridge is so ominous I might change the episode title to vestigial koala just because it's, it's I didn't say po no it's it's hipster not prog rock please I'm gonna have to fight you too. Can you please look away? Okay, I was about to be mad. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep moving. Let's talk to this little girl up here. One of those is a fungus. Those pokeballs. Couldn't tell you which one, but one of them is probably the one in the grass. School kid Mara with a deerling. So the, the one nice thing about deerling is that um they don't have a grass attack sticks pieces of right I don't know what that is should I know what that is it sounds like a candy that I would get in in Prague pieces of eight Sticks pieces of eight still doesn't mean anything to me. All right, so we'll switch out of here because we have that dumb leech seed going. And these things use bide, and it's the worst. Spelling's hard, you know. We weren't taught right. The American school system sucks. It's not our fault we can't spell. Now the machines do it for us, and we're completely dependent on them. That's how that's how the AI are gonna strike. Is they're gonna they're gonna take away spell check. And then what do we do? Then nobody can communicate anymore. What? Shut up. Loser. <sighs> yeah, I don't don't let Zuckerberg or Dorsey or whoever the heck is in charge of Google hear you. See, you'd think that we'd be able to beat this thing up with a flying type. No. Those things are so tanky. And they don't they don't care, and they also have effect spore, so you just walk away poisoned like 80% of the time. Please go away. See? See? I called it! And that's why we bought the Pecha Berries. Because eventually we'll run out of antidotes.
Alrighty, across the bridge. I think somebody in this building actually gives us a deerling, which is kind of annoying because we have a deerling, but oh well. Squeakers. See, and like I just I'm not even comfortable staying out there for a takedown because it could hurt. Or I rather it will hurt. Oh jeez. Okay, that seems unnecessary. Scientist. Unnecessary. Jacques. What hidden item could this be? No. A tiny mushroom. A tiny mushroom growing in that large blank spot. Should have healed forklift. Behind trainers and Pokemons. Relationships. Not like that. Marissa. Her hair is almost down to her feet. I'm gonna see if this thing wants to try and set up an X special. Okay, so I think it knows struggle bug. All right, it's fine. Don't miss, thank you. Gosh, it is nice that we did not get one of those things here. Nice. Great. All right, now we got to kill this thing before it murders us. Nice. Mission accomplished. Uh, because we yell at them until they do the thing, and if they don't do the thing, they don't get fed. That's why. Nice. Don't know what I'm going to use that on. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go in here. It's full of deerling. Okay. Uh, no. It's quite rare. I don't, I'm not sure what makes it so rare. Oh, Twist Mountain, that's where we're going. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that's on the other side of Chargestone Cave. Alright. Alright, oh, we should heal. This guy just staring contemplatively into a puddle. Ah. Worth. Forkliff needs those. I mean, we saw earlier where five, 5 HP made the dang difference. School kid Alvin. So I don't remember if Air Slash makes contact. I guess we're about to find out. Because it will trigger Effect Spore if it does. Nice. What a good little hit that was. All right, forklift, making some progress here. Just keep whomping it. No, no. Nice. Gotta analyze this defeat. Beep boop, you suck. <sighs> ah, I guess it doesn't make contact because we would have triggered effects for by then. Geez, 
Okay, neat. Ooh, a shaky grass. No, we didn't make it time. You stole my Ardino. Show me. Oh, see how one's on top of the grass and one's behind, so this one's a fungus? No? Then I don't know. That one's a fungus. Whatever. Whistling at you. I don't know if I need to live in a world where there are whistling mushrooms. Dang, that thing's tanky. Jeez. That seemed unnecessary. Well, that's a lot of experience at least. Squeakers. Use detect. Oh. Stop it. Try to tell him nicely. It's crazy how little experience that was. Jeez. Need to be able to switch in with her later. Anything here? No. Yes. We will play your games, Parasol Lady. Tihana. Cast four. So, Powder Snow would hit us for neutral and probably freeze us at, our, at this rate, so, Bar Trick. See, that's 30% chance of freezing that move has. No thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Get out here. At least that was worth a decent amount of XP. Didn't even mean to run here. No. A Marill. Yeah, there's there's a fair amount of duds in this route, so getting the deerling was was nice. Little little brother at least has potential. Okay. I mean I agree. They are adorable. Maybe. Yes, please. I'm just gonna spread out and take over your entire house. Nice, so that can evolve uh, yeah, our Minchino. So, you know, that's well, that's an option for airplane if we get if if we get desperate. Double battle. Dang, that Tranquil is jacked. Oh, man. It's just more effort to eat the same number of them, like the same amount of chocolate. How do they taste different just because like the candy shell ratio to chocolate or the candy shell to chocolate ratio is different or what? Like they M&M's an M&M, man. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. What are you just... I just want an item, and you're over here just making my life... Just run screaming at me through the grass, going, Nature! Nature! And you have a screaming bug, too. Amazing. Alright, screaming bug. Okay. I feel like Venoshock's a special attack. Nice, good flinch. <laughs> Remember when uh, those dang Brookside dark chocolates came out? And that would be like our lunch at work. We'd just buy like one of those and a Coke because we were in high school and there were no consequences. <laughs> I feel like Roost is better than Aqua Ring. God, I bought, I got some sodas with dinner on, uh, Friday, like we got some pizzas and just got a couple of the like eight, whatever the regular bottles of sodas. And like, you just look at that, like a Dr. Pepper has 124% of your daily added sugars in it. And you're just like, why is this a thing? What's What happened in America that made this okay? <laughs> like just, no. A can is already like, 70% of your sugar for the day. Like, that's nuts. Ugh, freak. Another tranquil. I don't know. We were talking to... Who were we talking to about Dr. Pepper? Oh, um... Savannah was talking to the the Japanese people she, she's working with. And they were, they were all saying that they thought that Dr. Pepper tastes like medicine. And we were trying to figure out why. Because, like, I don't... I don't feel like it tastes... Like, it's not syrupy to me. Like I, I consider myself like relatively uh, well versed in liquid medicines because I couldn't take pills for the longest time. So, like, I don't know. Dr Pepper doesn't really inv invoke the medicine thing to me, but like, I don't know if, like, I don't know where the Dr Peppers that Japan would have are made. The, they can't be shipping them overseas, right? Like, they, they, they've got to have some, a factory there. No, Pepsi does not taste like medicine. You're wrong. Pepsi also doesn't taste like Coke. They're very different, and Santa claims that they're the same, and she's super wrong. All right, so this is Charged Stone Cave. Let's see if we can go in here. I've never actually had like a certified Dublin Dr. Pepper. All right, so we're gonna not put um, forklift in front in case there's a charge bug, or not charge a bug, uh, a joltic. We'll put Bartrick up. All right, let's see what we get here. I don't think we can advance because Bianca is gonna stop us. Pharisee. Dang, that was literally the worst case. Uh, I prefer Pepsi if ice is involved and it's not a fountain. Like if it's, I feel like I like Pepsi better at restaurants where it comes in like a, a glass. Um, but like Coke is nice from like McDonald's. Like McDonald's Coke is like fountain coke is just the best thing in the world yeah i mean your phone knows you better than i do don't ask me that question can you just please not do that put it to sleep put it to sleep i was trying to do this 
the other day, and it was, or when I was grinding, I'm like, you just couldn't do it. Just yeah, the triple mud slap is gonna make this an impossibility, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we're just gonna super fang him down then. All right. Yeah. Come on. Really? It's only three mud slaps. Can we? Can we do this? Oh yeah, soda, soda fountain. Dr Pepper is the worst. It's it's almost never good. Oh my god. No, I honestly, I think canned Dr Pepper is the best because like I never want a full bottle of Dr Pepper. It's it's almost too sweet, and you know it doesn't. God, it doesn't stay good to me. Like, if you don't drink it super dang cold, it's just trash. Oh. See, I, that's one of the things that I'm... Dude, this thing can... This thing sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I haven't been to a dang sit-down restaurant in, like, almost a year. Um, I do, even even though it's like terrible for us, I do like that when we go to a restaurant and we order a soda, we get to drink as much of it as we want because we're fat. It's not even the iron defense, it's the dang mud slaps that are killing me. Ugh. Alright. I think a dusk ball should do this. We need to catch this thing just to knock off Boldors from the next cave for Twist Mountain. Nice. God. Its core sticks out when it's healthy. Oh, oops. I'm supposed to name that. Well, that was not going to be named one of the suggestions anyway, so. Uh, it's just, there we go, okay. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Alright, so that was a bust. Um, the next thing on our list is really to deal with Clay. Rocky Seven's a great name. Uh, that Bulldore will be Rocky 7 the next time we are, uh, we're in Castellia to rename him. Let's go see what Bianca's up to in here. Yes, hi. Okay. Well, maybe we do get to we do get to explore here. Yeah, the rocks are floating because magnets. Push. Yeah, I'll take a full heal. I like the effects that it makes when we're walking around too. That's how we know that we're not at home anymore, is because there are floating rocks. Not interested. I still read, I read that as, yeah, no. I read that it was a me Andromeda reference, and it's like, no. I mean, yes, it is a thing that you've said, but Ugh. It's late. <laughs> Push. A rocker. Oh, okay. I was gonna change Pokemon, but... Alright. What Pokemon could it be? What is the other member of your band, Anna? I hate you. 
hate you and your stupid flying squirrel. No! No! Yeah, it was pretty close. I was gonna give it to you. Oh my god, one more. You... Okay. God. The worst kind of squirrel. Fix the pearls. Man, a Galvantula would have been cool. Rad Tusk here from Smite. Dressed up as Fenrir. Come here, sir. They're, the rocks are generating electricity. We could have used those here in Texas. Electric rocks. How absurd. Pokemon world is wild. Dude has a Magneton. That's dangerous. What are the odds this dang thing has Levitate? I guess I could kick it. This thing probably has Levitate. Uh, X attack. Okay. Thank you. Nice, that should be a lot of H or XP. Yeah, nice. Good level up. See, look at those defenses. She's fast too. No, you're already pretty dang fast. Weird. Clicky BBQ. I guess. I guess we'll put. So, do you want to do Zanzibar or Boyfida? Try and level them up for the gym. Zanzi or Boytha? Boytha just sounds like you're saying Bertha in a weird accent. Crack, crack, crack. Fascinating. Who figures that out? <laughs> Who's the person who did that? I'm still waiting on a call for Zanzibar versus Boythida. Tell me. I'm gonna pick one of them to level up. We already got we got forklift to thirty. Okay. All right. Let's see. Point. Man, it does not like the uh, electros. I guess. Yeah, you know Bug Bite, don't you? Boyfit is still pretty funny, though. It's like Bug is just such a problem for us. Oh, Fury Cutter, okay. Well, at least we recovered it all off. weird seems like I could walk that way if I wanted to but see now they're everywhere level 28 too look at that thing too nervous to eat berries Ooh. that means it doesn't have static which is the far more annoying option I don't even remember what their other I'm pretty sure their other ability is static don't do that it's not very nice
go away. Nice. Bartrix is all around balanced, but not really excelling. I just don't think Hyper Fang is going to be worth it. So it's like a worse slash. Oh no, it makes them flinch. I thought it had a high crit ratio. No, I'm not really interested in Hyper Fang. Yeah. With how plentiful move tutors are in these later games. Oh, that's something I want to check out. There's a there's a move tutor in Driftvale. Um who will teach moves for red shards. So that's the shards are for. I'm not sure how many red ones we have, but we'll see what we can learn. I don't think we have anything that can hit this thing. No. Uh, here comes little brother. He can make it on his own. He's the king of the drags. Oh my god. Minus three legs. Jeez. <sighs> All right. All right. Thank you. The worst. He's just so... Jump kick is a dang liability. 49 points. Oh, another shard. Too bad it's not the color we need. Um, see, look at them hiding stuff. Like, that's that's good level design. Wasn't it cool when Pokemon actually had dungeons? They don't got stats no more. Yeah, we just don't have much we can can do against these things until I know their whole uh Yeah. And like that's that's good. Do more of that. The, I feel like the times that they try to do it in Sword and Shield, because like you don't have full control of the camera all the time. It's just annoying. It's just like, oh, I can't see behind that building. I bet there's something right around the corner. It's not even like I don't know. It's kind of dumb. Push. No. What? That Boldor must have been such a rare encounter. Like, I'm relatively confident that a one Fury Cutter won't kill us, but the Bug Bite scares the crap out of me. Okay, so he does have an electric attack. Can you stop? Thank you. Man, those things are not really worth fighting either. Well, I was going to heal Bartrick. But... Pretty sure there is a nurse down. Okay, so there is a, a block. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, they move when you walk under them too, because you disturb their magnets. Yeah, we can't go that way because we can't push that... Uh... There's my boy. Gosh, they're they're the best. I love them. Can't hit them with any of those. I don't know that we can super them. We can just kick them. Oh yeah, no, fighting. Fighting supers them. 
He gets, for whatever reason, I was always just, oh no. Why do you know that? I don't know that. Please go away. Ow, I forgot about that. Uh, now we run away again, jeez. Gyro Ball's so good. This should be a neutral hit. Just... It's a good, it's a good little Pokemon. Alright, so we are done here, so I think we're just going to dig our way out. Alright, so that puts us here. See if we can proc a couple Audinos and get Boythida leveled up to like 30. She does. She just kicks it real, real good till we're back where we were. Because physics or something. Oops. This seems like a good run. Excuse me. Oh, for trying to trigger shaky grass. Give me that shaky grass. Come on. I used to do this constantly in black and or in white because the the run in front of it's it's not tenable the the run in front of the daycare is really long i just always have audino popping up as i was trying to hatch eggs all right i give up takes too long no we don't have the fishing rod yet Tiny mushroom. Let's try Psy Shock. Not bad. No. It's not. It's not worth it. It's only worth like 250. It's just, it's just whatever. I wonder. Anything? No? Nope. Now then, okay. Worth checking. It'd be nice to have surf. <laughs> Should be getting that pretty soon, though. Meryl was terrifying because they could have huge power. And if they have huge power, they will murder you. Yeah, that's not gonna work though. God, this thing needs Horn Leech like eight levels ago. Because as a grass type, without a grass move, not much use to us at the uh, ground gym. No, it's it's crazy like all the nonsense of like trying to move the truck or like Pokemon that don't exist but you know somebody's brother's uncle works at Nintendo they might know something like reading Nintendo powers and kids would write in and ask the editors and like they don't outright say no they just feed all that nonsense just let it go Mew is under that truck. It's, it's, it was fact. It was fact in the late '90s. It only changed once the internet was invented by Al Gore.
See, that time I did it on purpose. Breeder April. Whoop! Missing on its doof ass face. Or my level 256 Charizard that if it leveled up would go back to level 1 because storing data is hard on a cartridge. Cool, doesn't matter. Go away. Nice. I just like, I also just like that, like, the missing no tricks one thing, but that whole, uh, that little strip of beach is just already so weird because it contains Pokemon from whatever the last patch of grass you were in. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, like, uh, double dipping, like, where they... They just kind of store data where they feel like they can get away with it. Um, and it leads to, to crap like that. Like, they use the naming space, I think, um, to, to store chunks of data. So that's why, that's why Missing No's name would, would vary. Um, because it's based on, it goes off, like, your player name, I think. But yeah, even if you don't do the missing no trick, like that patch of grass or that patch of shoreline is whatever patch of grass you were last in. So you could warp out from the safari zone, fly to Cinnabar Island. Yeah, yeah. So you could get, um, what do they call it? M block instead of missing no, I think is the other like major one. Let's go see if we can find that move tutor and then I guess we'll head to the gym and kind of gauge. I mean, the gym leader is going to have like a level 34 top, 34, 35, right? Because Alessa had a 30. He's going to have an extra ex drill that we're going to need to light on fire. Uh, it was sixth or seventh. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you. Oh. Yes. How many shards do I have? I have three. Nice. Okay. Dang, we get signal beam if we get one more. Can anybody learn bug bite? No. Shame. I got this is for some reason the city of hotels and it's like, why? I mean, at least in this one, they added the world tournament, but in like the originals, this whole floor is just one apartment. The door to their living space is an elevator that I just walked in wild. Yeah, I, I still remember like being in a target playing gold and silver and I was hanging out in like the electronics and some other kid came up to me and like saw that I was playing Pokemon and was and offered to teach me how to do the Pokemon dupe thing in, in gold silver where you like deposit the Pokemon and then you change box or something like that and then you shut off the game while it's uh, while it's saving and if you do it right then um, 
you end up with the Pokemon in your party and in the box. And I did that, and it worked, and it was great. Um, wait, this man just said Hornswoggle. Okay. Um, then I ended up with like some weird side effects from doing that too many times. Um, yeah, Hornswoggle. Where I had like a Magnemite show up and it was named Muck. Or no, it was named Grimer and it was holding a machine part. And then I had a Magneton show up in my boxes and it was named Muck and it was holding a machine part. So I had like all these weird misnamed Pokemon that uh, were holding machine parts, which are story items for the Kanto side of that. Which is crazy because if I had gotten those ahead of time, it would have just negated having to do parts of the game because you need to do some stuff before you can get some machine parts. I don't know. That would have been wild or weird. Weird and wild. Wet and wild. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's still pretty neat. It's not really a... I guess, is that a glitch? I mean, you're just... creating a server to connect to. Yeah, well. See, the, the thing that I don't understand, though, is that, like... All competitive Pokemon is done on the VGC anyway. They're all emulated. Like, they're all created Pokemon. So, nobody is... Nobody's doing competitive Pokemon with the Pokemon that they... Like... That they... Raised up in Sword and Shield or whatever. So... What's the big deal? Everybody has Pokemon with perfect IVs and EVs. Oop, there's an item. See look at that fixed viewpoint. He did. Sergeant Lieutenant Nipples. Mill tank at arms. All right, doesn't he want to fight? Can we do a rival fight? How how are we looking? Yeah, we can probably do a rival fight. We'll save, though. Not that it matters. Don't care, body slam. So we can hit them ghosts. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Fight a ghost. It's fun music. Give me something. Thank you. see what level these guys are rocking there's really not that much content between Alessa and and clay so they can't be that much higher 31 dang it's pretty good. so these things can explode which is a nightmare honestly self-destruct and explosion are just not what you want to be dealing with in in uh, Nuzlocke's. Man, so if we're dealing with Ball Toy. Okay. Yeah, the 
ball toy could be a problem. I don't think... I know Clay has like an Excadrill. That's the only thing I can really... So that's an elevator. It's getting bad again. Oh, excuse me again. This guy has three Pokemon. What champ? What does this do? It's like Q and then lowering special defense. Oops, well, okay. I meant to do Psy Shock, but now we know that's not going to do Jack. Okay. <laughs> okay. This this doesn't work the way you think it does, Mr. Drillber. I don't like it. does not matter because you're made of paper we've been over this <laughs> they just bop into each other tunnel to tunnel with fly I mean it it makes a little more sense I was say just keep going geez just gonna go all the way across. I mean, it's true. That's what? Okay. If you work hard, there's many things you can't do. <laughs> Man, we are not making any progress. Holy cow. Okay. I don't think that was to your benefit, sir. Yeah, see that actually. See, this thing's he didn't even evolve it. He could have evolved it. <laughs> Definitely need the union. It smells kind of funny. Can I go that way? There's no way we're ready for this gym leader. Shh, no kidding. Well, who the United got to him or Delta? Was it Del Delta? Dude, this place is actually quite large. Holy cow. Oop, all the way back. That was pretty crazy. Dealt. Uh. Going up. Nice. See, look at this. It's like a, a legitimate maze type thing in a gym. Can't have this now. This would confuse the children. Oh, wow, that was weird. That guy did not want to fight immediately. 
They're not calcium, no. Uh, it's only the one in uh, uh, Fuchsia City. It's the only one that does that. Morty in Ecrity kind of has something similar in that he has the um, invisible floor, but it's not hard to see where it is or like know where it's going to be. So, if we're reading the minions properly, we can expect Clay to have an Excadrill and maybe a Ball Toy. So getting everybody to 30 is not going to be enough. I'm going to see what level Ducklet and... Uh, Deerling evolve because I know one of I feel like one of them is 32, so we'll see if. Uh, let's see. Deerling, go. Um, evolves at level 34, so that's 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 a uh, ways off. Ducklet. Ducklet uh, evolves at 35, so those are both pretty far away. Uh, do you want to see Forklift evolve, or do we want to see Little Brother evolve? Let's pick one of them, and then we'll try to grind that out tonight. We're gonna give him the uh, experience share. He's not holding anything. So we give him the experience share. Um, and then switch him in and out. He should end up with 75% of the, of the EXP in the fight. Uh, uh, there it is. Why am I so bad? There we go. Yes. So we need to get four levels on this guy. We. We. Nope. I that may have been the last trainer. Oh, nice. Good. Dunk, dunk. Not a ball toy. Thank you. Drill. At least Chun Li can use Dig on it. I just don't know. Ooh, that's scary. If uh, I shouldn't know Earthquake, right? It'll use Drill Run, not Earthquake. Yeah, so that's that's a pretty good chunk of XP there. The space of dreams where you don't know what's even there. Dude, these guys need help. Let's go this way. We okay. <laughs> the space of darkness. Seems promising. Oh. 
Wow, legitimate dead end. You say dig and I say how low. Friedrich with his sendile. Yeah, of course it does. See, I would trust anybody else to murder it in one hit. God, yeah, I did that. I had sat down next to Riven, and she had gone to sleep. And I sneezed and woke her up and had to sit there for five more minutes. <laughs> Alright, well, at least they're dumb. Bye. Dun -da -dum, bum -ba -dum. Oh, so I uh I legitimately missed the path that we were supposed to be on, so that's kinda actually cool. And unusual. This seems right. Yeah. Alright, so there's clay. We are not fighting clay yet. Can I just use Dig to get out of here? That would be very convenient. It is technically a cavern. No! Jeez. Alright, uh, can I escape rope? Probably not. If I can't dig, I can't escape rope. Let's see if I remember if I can get myself out of here. I think this will do it. Uh, this one. No. Nope, been there. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've got to go. You scare the heck out of me. Nope. Wait, did we not go this way, really? Okay. For completion. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Alright, so we'll we'll get a little brighter leveled up here. Um, and then I'm hoping that when he evolves, he'll learn Horn Leech. And once he's got Horn Leech, I feel pretty good. Like, Sawsbuck is pretty fast, even with the lowered speed. So he should be fast enough to deal with most of the things. Although... Horn Leech is only a neutral hit on an Excadrill because of the steel. So we'd have to rely on Jump Kick, which I really hate. Afungus, Amungus. Oh, I guess. Oh, I was gonna say, are we immune to effect spore? No. See, I feel like a grass type should be immune to effect spore. Yeah, deer, deer are gonna eat what they gonna eat, and there's not much you can t you can do to stop them. They're, I mean, they're effectively raccoons, right? For all intents and purposes. Or as idiots nowadays say, for all intensive purposes. Ugh. Ouch. Forklift, can you take care of this, please? Oh, uh, forklift, I guess, would, uh, would have a water attack for for Excadrill if we get into that situation. 
I mean, isn't that kind of just a jackalope? So it'd be a, a raccoonalope? An antoon? I don't know. We're off the reservation there. Yeah, I guess I'll use a fresh water. Rackalope. Yeah, you got it. Let's go back to the, uh, that, um, house that we could rest at. So I was doing this before where there, there were fights where little brother was too slow to outspeed other deerling below him. And it's just like, all right, I hope they don't use double kick and we die. Aha! Tricked you. Zoom. Can't get out of here. Wasted all that, like not wasted, but we used up all of that XP in there, leveling Boyfit up, unfortunately. So now we gotta do this the hard way. Not great. I mean, three, three HP isn't the worst, but all right. Actually, let's let's do double battles because I think the Pokemon here are a little bit higher level, and Chun Li's there for support. Bop. Amazing. Amazing. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you. Cool. Jeez, is it like a 50% chance? Like, that's crazy. It procs all the time. Ugh. Ugh. The bug types are annoying. Just out there sleeping, sleeping on the job. <sighs> Please kill it. Oh my god. The worst. They're not well, you're right, lady. They're sleeping because they touched a mushroom and something yawned at them. Group double battle. Oof, two old 29s. Now we gotta switch little brother out, but that's okay. You can get hit by a flying attack and a bug attack. Should be okay. We'll see if we can kill this tranquil before anything bad happens. God, this if this is I don't the emulator might explode if we do a triple battle. It's fine. That's fine. They can barely handle a double battle. Nice. Good stuff. Eight hundred for a double battle is not bad. Regular fight. You can tell by the music. You know what? I feel like 
Um, I'm gonna give for the sake of leveling. I feel like I want to give little brother the wide lens just because. Just can't afford. Because Chun Li can kill enough things with return. Oh, then but then the XP share doesn't work. I don't know. Just it makes me so nervous. Because if if they also use double kick or takedown or pretty much anything, and we missed a jump kick, it's that's over. Oh, excuse me again. I'm late. There's just not much XP there to be had. So let's see, the, the gym trainers had level 31s as their highest. So... We can probably expect Clay to have a 35. I, th I feel like that's that's a safe. Didn't she level up? Did it say still say 33? I could have sworn we got her to 34. Oh, because she didn't level up. That's why. Nice crit. Crit mattered probably. Nice. Dang, plus three speed. That's a good level up for us. Unfortunately, not the defense stat we need, but I'll take it. Oop, double battle, yay! So we can expect the bug bite coming in. Actually, Chun Li's gonna go first. So we'll have her kill the deerling. No. Actually, yeah, she can just kill it with return. Nice. Incredible. It really was. 5%, man. I I think we would have died at Alessa if, if it was any other. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's... Is that better than Faint Attack? We already have a Dark. We have a Dark type on... Dark type attack on Bartrick, so... I think Leech Seed's worth the extra nonsense of just having having a leech seed is nice gives us some inevitability all right so we're actually making decent progress here yeah or we can even like seed and then bail and the seed stays on double battle Gross. They both have bug bite. Punch him in the craw. Have you played um, any other games on the the Series X, like to see if it's the uh, improvement or just just Destiny. Uh, 
Oh yeah, but don't you have to like Bears five? Don't you have to pay for the control thing? I feel like they got in trouble or whatever <laughs> for uh, for being weird about the the Series X version, like upgrade of the game. <laughs> Cold Train's back, baby. <laughs> That's dumb. Stupid and dumb. Squeakers. Oh yeah, I guess that's fair. I like how their their reasoning was like, we just can't do it. And you're just like, what? Shut up. You're being dumb. <laughs> did uh, did you pick up Nexomon? Or did you miss that sale? I didn't see it for sale on the Switch when I checked the other night. Oh, nice. Womp. That's alright. Ouch. Ouch. Speedrun. Strats. As long as it's not like, oh, well, if you go here, spin around three times, crouch, and then double jump, that you fly through the uh, through the map and you land at your like X coordinate, but in the Z dimension. I just, ugh, gotta hate that part of speedrunning. It's so stupid. Good. As it should be. Another double battle. More squad loons, please. Those are the those are the prize. It does suck that we have to switch out because it just further dilutes uh, the XP. We're making decent progress, we really are. It's about a level every 10 minutes, give or take. Don't crit. Really don't do that, that's... That's just awful. Alright, get ready for effect spore. Hey. Amazing. All right, well now we have to kill that fungus. Chumley, please wake up. Amazing. Good lord. This has got to be like 80%. It procs constantly. Wake up. What's it doing, trainer? It had a quick snooze. Team's getting beaten up just to try to drag little brother across the finish line. Uh, I don't think we get the poke flute in this one. Could be wrong. We might be able to get like a black flute. I think is the the flute that does it, but. I wouldn't wouldn't begin to pretend to know or to act like I know where that is. Careful. That's one one letter off from something very dangerous. Bye. 
God, it does so much better even when there's just one less Pokemon on... One fewer? Less? Whatever. On screen. Don't crit. What do we, what do we say about crits? Pokemon Dash Dash. Minus, minus. F minus, minus. Not good enough. Are we good enough to kill one of these things with return now? There was something I was watching the other day that was like... It's like an ad for somebody who started a video game development company out of their home or some nonsense like that. And it showed them writing code and it was literally just Java. And they were writing like a for loop to add some numbers. And I was like, cool, that's representative. Oh my God. Oh my God. That gave me heartburn by like just watching that happen. God. Okay, that's fine. I felt pain in my chest as that happened. So we get Little Brother to 34. We have Chun Li at 34. Uh, Forklift's almost at 31, so we can go ahead and get her up real quickly, and then I think we we go challenge Clay because episode's getting long. It's getting late. I'm tired. I have a morning meeting tomorrow, so. I think between Lil' Brother and uh, Chun-Li, we can kill that Shelmet before it does anything. No. Nice. No. That's maybe on days when I don't work the next day, but can't do that all the time. It's too much. We were up too late. Nice. God, his speed's so low on Monday. Maybe. We'll see. Depends on how long the stream is. The longer streams make it harder. Trip, trap. Oh, we need to kill these deerling though, because they give tacky these, and we need those. Hopefully, the level up gives us a, a decent stat bump. Because, like, Sawsbuck with Big Root to make sure Horn Leech is restoring the most HP possible would be pretty good. Also. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, that should be a good paycheck then. Although I was just thinking about like a deer using jump kick. Like what? What are we looking at there in terms of how that works? Because like deer normally kick by turning away from something and kicking with their back legs. So what what's what transaction is happening where it keeps going and crashes? No, that's a trample. Kicking with front hooves is trampling. 
<laughs> All right, getting there. Three sixty, no hoof. Nope. God, that also just gave me like any sort of <gasps> moment just uh, makes my chest hurt. <laughs> Halfway there, halfway there, last level. It's nice, uh, Blue Brother's finally to the point where he can take, and we don't have to switch him out for every fight. Just mostly because Chun-Li can murder one thing on her own. Look at the Swadloon again though, that's what we need. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that crit. <laughs> At least it did exactly 20 damage, so we can heal that off and just keep going. Or did I use the last potion? Yep. Whatever. They don't do us any good not using them, right? That one's level 28. We have to leave because it knows jump kick. Away! Okay. That was nice. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Alright. Sorry this episode's been so much grinding, but I can't... I can't go through that experience again of, of having my team ripped away from me we have to be we have to be somewhat prepared for the nonsense that they're gonna throw at us nice that was a handy little attack ding Oh, her special attack's much worse than her attack, dang. And you've threatened that multiple times. There's not much control I have over that. As long as I don't pull a dumb idiot thing like I did last time and try and use like a, a normal attack on a ghost because I'm stupid and dumb. Oh, thank God, it didn't have, what do you call it, a uh, huge power, because that would have hurt a lot more. Nice, one more. Come on. Come on. Really? Jeez. Bye. 
Poink. So I think, I think what we'll also do is we'll get, uh, we'll get Rocky Seven out, um, and put him in for Zanzibar, just because like we're not gonna be able to evolve him anyway. Um, so we just need we need to have like one at least one dummy Pokemon in just to have something that can take take a hit so we can have a fresh swap in yeah okay we are done here All right. Ding. Digivolve to Sawsbuck. Your little brother evolved into Sawsbuck. He did not learn Horn Leech, which was kind of what I was afraid of. I think he learns it at 35. So how do we do though? We got, got up over 100 HP. That's good. The attack is pretty good. It's the highest on the team, I think. Yeah. Stantler will do that, yes. So his attack is the highest on the team. His defense... His defense is better than Bartrix. That's that's something. Can he make use? His special attack is still pretty low, so energy ball is not the greatest. Needs 2,000. He's just going to be able to kill so much more with, with Horn Leech. Alright. I know it's been... Oh, it's been off? Dang. I don't even remember turning it off. I know it's been a lot, but let's... Let's try and go for one more level to get that Horn Leech. Let me make sure that before we go down this rabbit hole that that's what, when he learns it. Uh, Sawsbuck. Can we kill with a return now? We should be fast enough to be able to do this. Nice, that's good. Uh, move sets, please. Base stats. Yeah, special attack is its lowest stat, so we definitely don't want energy drain if we can help it. Uh, Horn Leech is at 37. We're not sticking around for that. That's that's too far away. Actually has a lower base power than Energy Ball, which is also sad. Why did Sawsbuck learn Solar Beam? That's terrible. <laughs> Pokemon move sets. Oh, they changed it in Gen 7 so that when he evolves, he learns Horn Leech. Alright, so in that case, what item are you going to have? At least we don't have to worry too much about... Um... Shell Bell might be good. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about freaking statuses with this gym. Doesn't like the bicycle music apparently. It's 
squeakers. Uh, so, who are we going to give the Eviolite to? I think we'll give the Eviolite to, uh, to Forklift. Just because, like, you need, we need everything that we can, can get there. Alright, I don't remember. Somebody in the, the bank must have it, or the PC. Let's see. Alright, let's get configured for the gym leader. And do the gym leader so that I can go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, I think I put uh, whoever was holding it. I think Delta had it. Oh, Monday. Yes. All right, then we're going to move. Oh, you were holding an Everstone. Look at you. Okay. So Zanzibar is out. And we have Rocky 7. If I could freaking walk. I forget what item we gave. Um, what's Barcher holding? What are you holding, sir? Oh, right, leftovers, duh. Uh, boy, that, uh. I guess, I mean, if we're, if we're in this situation, you're going to need a, a quick claw. <laughs> if, if you're coming in. And then, so you get the Eviolite. Or, let's just take Voithida out. Um, and I'm going to put Airplane in. And I just think airplane is more expendable as a as a normal type Pokemon um, than uh, than Boythida is. So we'll have two free, not free, but like we'll we'll have two switches available like if we need to do fresh fresh switch ins. Seems like a better a better thing to have than just a slot that we can't use, and if we have to lose, we're losing a a member of the team that we care about. All right, down we go. Let's see if I have to relight up everything. Hopefully not, because that would be annoying. Thank you. This way. Oh, nice. So once you go that way, it unlocks it for you. That's cool. And we have to go back. Sure. No. So we have to approach from the side. Didn't we do this? Oh, we have to approach from the top. Okay. There we go. I'm smart. I know how this works. Come on. We... No, okay, I was just gonna save, but... Oh, good lord. Okay. Who do we want to lead with? So ground type, so we're expecting like a sand dial. 
a ball toy, and an Excadrill. If we lead with Forklift, we're taking away their biggest uh, stab. They could have a rock move, which would not be great. Oh, that's why his special attack or her special attack's so low. Lowered. Who do we lead with here? We lead with Bartrick. Because he can he can get like a super fang off or something. Here we go! Alright, three Pokemon, as expected. Alright. He's got the Intimidate. I'm just gonna punch it and see what happens. Nice. Well, actually not nice, because now we have to use Crunch. Right, Bulldoze! forgot about that. Oh my god. Okay, so he's used the Hyper Potion already. So he's gonna use Bulldozer Crunch. Alright, sorry airplane. I just can't. I need to be able to switch fresh in and go faster than this thing. Good lord, that, that thing just crit twice in a row. Yeah, here. So that intimidates, save that thing's life. Sand Slash, interesting. Didn't, didn't really expect that. Yep. Does he have another Hyper Potion? No, he doesn't. Nice. It's only level 33. I think I'm going to send Little Brother and just let him Energy Ball and see where, where that gets us. Go, Rocky 7. Oh, Rocky 7 gets to move. Mud slap. No. <laughs> oh, so that that's concerning. I think I go for jump kick. It's faster. How is it faster? Oh my god. There's a 5% chance of that happening. <laughs> All right. I need to know, so your speed is 65. 85, okay. So Chun-Li can go out and use Jump Kick and not miss and kill it. Yeah, I, I used I used Airplane to get a clean switch into Chun-Li uh, for the Sand Slash. Or no, for the Crocorock. Um, <laughs> so... All right, Chunley, don't miss. Wide lens, wide lens, wide lens, baby. Got it. Jeez. Well, all that effort we put into little brother, <laughs> I 
could technically go just get another one. <laughs> Little brother too. Because I'm not counting event Pokemon against my my routes. Ding. Badge five. You know who would have liked Bulldoze? Little brother. God, no kidding. <laughs> Weird elevator noises. Thank you. What? Where is this going? What? What a weird thing to say. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> good, good dancers. That's mighty dangerous. I just, I just want to go to bed, Clay. I want to, I want to mourn, mourn the loss, and and go to bed. All right. I, he missed. Five percent chance. We're gonna be paying like that's that's the price that Chun Li comes with. Is that five percent things like things that are five percent to happen do happen and like we we got her out of it and uh you know there are consequences. Rocky Seven, you're a good man. Sorry, little brother. Wish we could have done more for you. RJ's not going to be happy. Rocky Seven did his job like a champ. God, we have lost a lot of Pokemon. I need to have a uh, death count on screen next. I guess I should have had that all along, but oh well. Alright. Brutal. Anyway. Yeah, I have to finish it first, but maybe. Anyway. Uh, let's heal up and call it a night. Oh, goodness gracious. Hopefully I can go back into the room and you know, brush my teeth without waking Puppo up. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll be back tomorrow where we go through the rest of Charge Stone Cave and go fly an airplane maybe or something. I don't know. Mistral Town City is weird. Oh yeah, and then there's like a Pokemon Tower where dead Pokemon live. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Bye.